Hi, this is Jason Furman again. And in this series of online video lessons, we're going to be talking about playing double strokes, or as I like to call them, our legato strokes. If you've been going to the George Lawrence Stone book, as I recommended after making our initial strokes in the first videos, you'll notice that exercises one and two on page five are alternating or single strokes while numbers three and number four are double strokes. Now both of those are the two types of rolls we're going to be discussing immediately. There are some other types of rolls, but we'll talk about those in the later parts of the video series. For now, with our double stroke rolls, as you, as you slowly get faster, most people have a tendency, if you play this way, accent the first part of the double and the second one becomes softer, getting this sound. Now when I was younger and taking lessons we had options to get over this. One was an exercise by accenting the second stroke and making the second strokes, the first stroke softer. So it would be right unaccented, right big accent, left unaccented, left big accent to work on your upstroke. Also had the other Lawrence Stone book, Accents and Rebounds, which he had written for having his student Joe Morello in his presence, to work on that idea of the upstroke. And it would work for me for quite a long time. The problem is it tends to introduce more tension than I wanted overall while playing double stroke roles. And after watching other drummers between several videos and observing them play, I noticed that fitting into the idea of the least amount of effort and using the rebound that's offered to me the drum, I needed to approach it differently. So what I began to do was experiment with the upward motion that I was getting. As we talk later about molar technique, we're going to notice that some of the things and the actions that I'm making here with the double stroke roll are directly linked and are portions of molar technique. But for now we want to talk about making a stroke and the second stroke all being one motion. So the hands are flat, I have a tendency to come up, so we come in and when I make the stroke, I turn my hand slightly, I let the stick come up, my hand is actually still down, and then on my way back up, I allow the energy to be snapped back down and back into place. So, and then I would do the same thing with the left hand. I'm coming in, make the impact, the stick comes up, and as I'm going back up, I snap and the stick comes back into place. And what we also want to do is make sure that this keeps us with a nice, consistent motion. Once you get it moving, the motion will start looking like waves and we'll talk later that this motion of waves and dancing across the drum will help us actually keep better time. So when you start off snapping the sticks, right, so stroke. And just start by making a couple strokes of the hand. Don't try to make it a roll quite yet. So you feel and completely that you're making motion. It's one complete motion. One motion, two strokes.
That's a way to utilize the energy that's being offered to you from the drums in the rebound. And to keep an easier, consistent way of making a roll. Okay? Thank you very much. In the next video series, we'll talk about playing double strokes using traditional grip.